amazing Reverend Dr. Joyce Reynolds with us today. I am thrilled. She's one of my favorite teachers. I shared with the class this morning that I studied for four and a half, five years at the Spiritual Living Center of Atlanta, and it was on Tuesday nights, all those years, every year, Tuesday night. And Joyce was always teaching her class down the hall. So I so wanted to take her class. She would meet with me instead on the breaks and before class and after class, and she taught me so much. She is a motivator of one or a thousand, right? She's written a few books. One of her books is being made into a movie. She is an incredible, amazing woman. This is quite the gift. I am so grateful she's here. Again, please welcome Dr. Joyce. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. Uh, thank you for, for inviting me. I know uh, uh, I don't want Pastor Paul to get sick, but uh, it is a pleasure to be here. And we wish him well, and I'm sure he would appreciate your prayers. I want to talk to you about um, the, one of the or three of the 12 powers of man. I have studied the 12 powers of man through unity for years, and just recently, before I uh, went into surgery two months ago, or not even two months ago, uh, I had a knee surgery, a uh, new knee, and I started teaching a class on the 12 powers of man. And I had forgotten that there were some really very, very important powers that I have if I recognize them. And the one power was the strengthening power. Christ in me is my strengthening power. The other one that was so prevalent in my mind is that Christ in me is the love that I have. And then I realized that Christ in me is my zeal. And I've been told that I have enthusiasm, but some people have accused me of zeal. Now, I haven't been able to figure that one out yet. However, as I studied these words and these powers, I began to realize that the power really had an effect on love was in the heart. On strength, on strength, it was the thighs and the upper part of my body here. And as it was zeal, it was the back of my head where my medulla is. And that I was being fed energy, energy as I said these words. Well, one of my mantras and I share it with you to use whenever you're in a place where you're feeling like you need strength, is to say over and over again, the Christ in me is my strengthening power. It hasn't been quite seven weeks, maybe six weeks since I had the surgery. The first two weeks, and I share this with you to identify whatever your problem may be, whatever your conflict is that you're not talking about, that you're not even praying about, that maybe you're not even looking at. Whatever that conflict is, to begin to look at it as though you have the strength of the power of Christ, the power of God, inside of you to get through that. That you have the power, no matter what is going on in our world today, no matter what, to have love and to have compassion, which you'll be discussing next week. But that love, the love embraces you. It brings a magnetism to you. I want magnetism. You want magnetism? I do. You do. We are one. We all want the same thing. But we come from different cultures, different religions, different places. So we don't understand other people often. But that other person is just like you. Just like you. They want the same things. They want love. I did a funeral last week. And I did a chapter, uh, first verse, Corinthians 13. 
and read the whole chapter. And it talks about love. And if you have everything in the world, all the money you would want, all of the, the clothes you want, all of the property you want, all of everything, if you quarrel, if you have things that don't agree with you, you have not love. But if you have love, you have the greatest of all, the power, the presence, and the mighty force of God working in and through you and as you. How great is that? How great is that? We have the infinite mind of God working in and through and as us. I can do more than I think I can do. And when I was in this very, very um, difficult spot where the pain was excruciating and I didn't want to take any of those pills they give you, I have an addicted personality. I'm a recovered alcoholic. I got 41 years of sobriety. I don't want to go take those things. I don't want, to, I don't want those pills. So I was taking something alternate, but it was going through a lot of pain. But the thing is, I kept saying, and I cried all night during that pain, but I said, God is my strength. God is my power. The Christ in me is my strength. The Christ in me is my power. The Christ in me is love. And I got through. I got through it. And now I can't even remember. I can't even remember the pain. But there was a time where I was up at night, and you got to listen to this, too, because this is the truth. Oftentimes, we're so caught up in our stuff, our emotional pain, our physical pain, things aren't going right, I don't have enough money, all of those things that we think we're praying, but we're so busy with ourselves, that we miss the voice. So I had done this. A few days there, oh boy, I tell you, I was caught up in Joyce. Don't talk to me about you. And then I went to do my first speaking engagement, which was after four weeks, five weeks, four weeks, I guess it was. And I was sitting at Palmer Property, and I was sitting there, I always get their little head so that I can meditate. And I was meditating. And I opened my eyes, and I heard God's voice. God said, I've been with you all the time. You just didn't know it. You didn't feel it. You wouldn't allow yourself. I am with you now. I am with you now. And I love and I care for you. You just didn't listen. You were so caught up in yourself. And then I felt the angels. And they said, you thought we weren't with you. We were there. You just didn't take the time to acknowledge. You were so caught up in you. I wonder how many of us do that. I wonder how many of us get caught up in ourselves. This church doesn't do this. This church is a compassionate church. This church is a giving church. This is why I love this church so much. Anyone and everyone is welcome. Whoever you are, you're welcome. Come on in. Welcome. Come on in. And then, and then you have a ministry where you're giving. You're giving. You're giving food to the homeless. You care about them. Not only that, you care about each other. You care about people. You're always giving. You're always giving. You're loving. We sit and we listen to somebody else, and we've learned we don't have to tell our problem to that person at that time. 
We'll sit and we'll listen. We'll listen to you. We'll listen. Now, we know that we're working with universal laws and principles. And the one thing I know is that while I was in convalescent and, and getting well, I knew my life was going to change. How can you go through any really different kind of experience without gaining wisdom, right? You gain wisdom, and you look for the future. But you look for the future in today. Today. Today is your future. What, what are you talking about, Joyce? You know what I'm talking about. Your thoughts, your feelings, your perceptions, your ideas, your imagination, all of that gives you the opportunity to move forward. One step at a time. One step after another. And we go into tomorrow and the next day and the next day. So perhaps two months ago, before I'd even had the surgery, I didn't know I'd be here. But a lot of times we don't know where we'll be. But you know what we do? You know what we do? We trust the process of life. I have some affirmations I'd like for you to take and think about for the week. So, if we can put those affirmations up, can we put them up? All right. The first one is the Christ in me is my strengthening power. Together. The Christ in me is my strengthening power. Now, say it like you mean it. All right. The Christ in me is my strengthening power. And one more time. The Christ in me is my strengthening power. And the next one. The Christ in me is my zeal. Again. The Christ in me is my zeal. One more time. The Christ in me is my zeal. My enthusiasm. And what do we have not least but last, the Christ in me is love. Love. The Christ in me is love. And one more time, the Christ in me is love. And if you remember to say these one at a time, write them down on your desk. Just put them in front of you during the week. You will see a physical difference and you will see an emotional difference, and you will see a spiritual difference as you set your goals, your desires, and as you walk forward with understanding that it's your thoughts, your feelings, your perceptions, your ideas that create your reality. Thank you very much, and God bless you.